Okay, so it's uh, 5.30 a.m. here on Thursday morning. What's today? The 18th. And uh, uh, got down to 28 degrees last night. Had frost on the windows. Uh, pretty chilly out this morning. And uh, going to work a little ground here. So uh, I'm in the John Deere 9410R. And uh, got the McFarland inside hooked up. And going to go out and do a little vertical tillage before we uh, start harvesting. Ah, first things first, um, air conditioner was on. Uh, Got to get that changed. And just when it's cold like this, uh, I don't like to just start putting an engine to work. So uh, gonna let it warm up for uh, quite a few minutes here before I get started. like the ground's working up pretty nice so I'm running along here about seven and a half mile an hour uh, it's pulling it pretty easy but uh, got the green star auto steer so uh, just listen to some music and drink some coffee and get some work done pretty nice it, of course with the frost and stuff uh, it's a little sticky I see uh, a little bit of dirt sticking to the tires but I don't think we're doing any harm here it needs to get done so the plan is going to be uh, run this over all the soybean ground and plant corn right into this next year where uh, normally we've been running the field cultivator in the spring and uh, gonna try to get away from that even though I like working ground in the spring with the field cultivator uh, we'll see. I'm sure there's still going to be plenty of that to go around. But uh, like I say, things change. But that's the plan right now. Run this insight over everything this fall and plant right into it next spring. Nice morning out here as the sun's coming up uh, with the frost on the ground. This would be great if I had my drone in here with me, but I don't. So, yeah. And my wife is bringing me a breakfast sandwich right now. Um, I was not going to ask her to cook me breakfast at 5 a.m. this morning, so she made a breakfast sandwich and uh, bringing it to me. I was on the phone. And thank you. Uh -huh. Orange juice. All right. Thanks. I, I went down there. I so, uh, my wife hates being on camera, so I guess she's kind of with the wrong person for that, but oh well. So I'm going to get uh, back online here and eat my breakfast. So, uh, wife brought me a 
ham, egg, and cheese uh, breakfast sandwich. It's delicious, let me tell you. And orange juice. I love orange juice. Um, I drink orange juice pretty much every day. Uh, a lot of times before I go to bed, I'll have a glass of orange juice. And uh, there was a time when I used to in the evening eat about four Reese's peanut butter cups and orange juice but I know that some people say it sounds like a terrible combination but it's actually really good but it doesn't agree with me so well anymore so uh, I gave up on that combination sunrise it's about 31 degrees right now it was 28 when I started so uh, just a beautiful morning out here and gonna keep doing this for a couple hours till it dries off and we can start harvesting again so uh, I can see the grain bins here where we dump the corn and the semis are going in and out so the other guys are um, getting the corn off the frost is about gone and the sun's out so should be in the cab of the grain cart tractor again and if everything goes well uh, last night my daughter and I did the Instagram live from the cab with the grain cart tractor so we plan on doing that again tonight around five o'clock of course when you're watching this until uh, I get this video edited this that'll be over with but uh, that's the plan that was a lot of fun last night it was good to interact with uh, everybody a lot of questions and so forth uh, we really enjoyed it okay i'm not sure if i can hold the camera and pick this up at the same time I guess I can't I guess I can okay I think it'll ride there to the end of the field as long as I don't go too fast slow down a gear yep riding along just pretty nice I'll just run about six mile an hour to the end of the field here and just dump it off in the woods Okay, so uh, the boss man just called me and they're gonna start running corn, so this is gonna be my last pass here. And I'm uh, gonna go over and run a uh, tractor and grain cart. Okay, so uh, I'm back in the grain cart tractor. We're picking corn, picking corn, shelling corn, cutting corn, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, depends where you live what they call it I know a lot of guys that still say picking corn and uh, you get out west they say cutting corn but here they say shelling corn mostly so but anyways while well, we're back into the corn I'm running the grain cart we're gonna do this probably up to about lunchtime and then we're gonna switch over to soybeans knock out those last 45 acres of soybeans and I'm probably gonna run back up north and try to knock out the rest of that winter wheat I uh, should have enough in the drill to finish I think I got about 20 acres left there. So right now that's kind of the plan and uh, we'll see how that goes. And I was able to pop the drone up in the air for a little bit this morning as we started the corn here. So uh, that worked out good. Give you a few shots here, nothing too much, but uh, 
I figure a little bit of this is better than just seeing me in the cab of the tractor or combine talking. We didn't quite get this field done. This field has about, uh, it's, it's a little over 200 acres total. And uh, it's got some long rows in it going uh, road to road, so one mile. So really keeps you hustling running the grain cart, which is uh, really fun. Um, so when we went to soybeans uh, here right after lunch, and then we come back this evening, and you'll see coming up uh, me running the combine with Alexandria, my daughter riding with me. And uh, anyways, this is the field that uh, yesterday, the far end is where we pulled the 327 bushel per acre on the yield check so uh, really good field uh, really good crops this year this corn was uh, testing around 16 percent moisture so it's getting down there uh, it can go right through the bin and uh, just hit the dryer a little bit and onto the storage bin so uh, things go really fast when the corn gets down to these moisture levels a lot better than when it's 25 percent okay so it's about 11 30 and uh, he brought the combine over so i'd say we're gonna get moved and uh, get soybeans done. Uh, last semi here, I was trying to get all the corn on it. I spilled a little bit of corn. This semi is full, check this out. Luckily, we are real close to the bin, so uh, we're not, this truck isn't overloaded by any means. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, that's a full truck, all right. Okay, I think we're gonna move here. Hello. You know, some people have dice uh, hanging from their mirror and stuff on their dashboard, and Jeff has an ear of corn. is not overloaded I promise you that that's a load of corn right there boys and girls oh hell there's room for more I guess if he gets pulled over for uh, overweight if it would be he can always blame the incompetent green card operator Okay, so uh, I'm up here to get a couple bags of wheat seed and finish planting this wheat, but I'm sure there's some Alice Chalmers fans out there, so check out this nice 185 hooked to the Hartsway feed grinder. So as I was filling the drill up, I had this feeling I was being watched. You know how you just get that feeling sometimes? Well, guess what? I was being watched, all right. Watched by the steers. Okay, uh, heading out to the field to where I left off on Friday. Got a combine, a Case IH combine uh, across the road from where I'll be planting. Looks like a boxcar Magnum pulling a J&M grain cart. So maybe I'll have to pop the drone up and get some uh, footage and spy on some neighboring farmers. What do you think? Big J&M grain cart. Yeah, 
I think the conditions look just a little bit better than they did when I left here on Friday. Okay, so just getting down to the last few acres here. I hope I have enough seed to finish. And otherwise, I'm going to have to run to Union City and get some. It's just going to take time away from everything else. But uh, it's going to be close, so we'll hope for the best. This is the field uh, I was planting weed in on Friday when I got rained out. And had the field about half done. Just had about 20 acres to do here so got started and there was some uh, good corn harvest action going on across the road uh, don't know these guys personally but uh, very nice uh, case IH 8940 Magnum over there on the grain cart didn't get the model of the case IH combine but I thought I'd uh, pop the drone up here just uh, quick uh, nice little shot here Friday when I was planting this field the conditions were not perfect but today they were uh, definitely a lot better so Anyways, uh, did not see the wheat coming up that I put in the ground on Friday yet, but uh, temperatures have cooled down quite a bit, and it'll still get up out of the ground and be good. But uh, wheat that was planted several weeks ago is looking real good, has a real nice stand. Just judging by the comments I'm getting on these daily harvest vlog videos I'm doing, everybody seems to like them, so the positive comments and everything keep me going. Uh, Started this morning out at 5.30 a.m., worked till 9 p.m., so to get home and uh, get this stuff off my cameras and edit it and everything on here, uh, pretty tired in the evening doing this, but uh, like I said, it's those positive comments and everything uh, keeps me doing it. If you guys are enjoying it, I'm going to keep doing it, so thanks again, everybody. Okay, so I don't have enough uh, seed wheat to uh, finish. I got about an acre and a half to two acres, so... I'm just gonna go over, I gotta go over to uh, Moats Farm Service over in, uh, by Union City and uh, get a couple bags of wheat. I'm just gonna grab 10. We can always take it back if I don't use it. So here I go. Okay, folks, this is the Ohio-Indiana state line. I'm now in Randolph County, Indiana, so just south of Union City. A little town called Harrisville, Indiana, which is just straight west of Union City by the ethanol plant. Okay, winter wheat planting 2018 is about to be done. Okay, I am officially done planting the 2018 winter wheat crop. 
which will be ready in 2019. So this field uh, should be ready anywhere from June 25th, say, to July 4th of 2019. So I just got done planting weed. I got back here to the field. Like I said, the rest of the crew got the soybeans done and we moved up here. We're gonna start corn again. And uh, Dudley Lips from Farm Credit brought us dinner to the field tonight. I hope it's as good as my wife's cooking because I told my wife not to cook dinner. So let's find out. It looks good. Should be good. Thanks. Okay. Getting the grain cart pretty full here. Okay, so Alexandria and I are out here in the combine tonight, and uh, if you follow me on Instagram, we were doing the Instagram uh, live stream tonight. It works out pretty good, so we're out here shelling, shelling corn this evening. So, anyways. This was really neat, the way there was uh, spider webs or cobwebs across the rows of corn, and when the snouts would hit them and break them up, they'd turn to dust, and you'd even see some of the strings of the web flying through the air. It was really pretty, something neat uh, I've never seen before. Okay guys, this is going to be our last round for the night. Uh, anyways, it's been a pretty productive day. Okay guys, uh, it's about 9 o'clock. We're calling her quit for the evening. It was a big enough day. Started at uh, 5.30 this morning and uh, quitting at 9 o'clock here. And, uh, Plan on coming out early tomorrow morning and uh, working ground, and then we'll finish this cornfield up. Good night, everyone. <laughs>